How do folks, I'm the grumpy vlogger, as you can tell, I don't have a voice left. Uh, I have been suffering from allergies and congestion and all of that. And I'm not going to be able to do a show tonight. Uh, update on Judy's health. She's doing much better. She's uh, out. Of, she got out of the hospital Friday about three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, she's done real well over the weekend. Her breathing is a lot more normal. Uh, <clears throat> also, I know that Art mentioned on his show Friday night, uh, Art Goes Drone Solution, that uh, uh, we had lost a couple of our puppies. And yes, I came home the Tuesday evening when the uh, ambulance came, I put up the two dogs I could find, which is Ranger, our big white Great Pyrenees, and Pepper, who is our black Pomeranian. Now, he had a sort of litter mate. They were from the same breeder. They were 10 days apart, and that litter mate's name was Cinnamon. We got him simply because he had had some uh, minor birth defects, but he's always been a bit sicklier than uh, uh, Pepper has and not as active. And of course, then we had Coco, who was our 13 year old that you heard yipping in the background most of the time. And uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, we lost Coco, our 13 year old Pomeranian, and we also lost Cinnamon, who was a seven year old male Pomeranian. Now his health issues was he one of them when he was over overweight. I think they may have caught some of the breathing, you know, bronchitis or allergy breathing issues and stuff that uh i just got a text from somebody uh chris hope okay uh anyways i'll let him know in a minute that i'm not doing a show but i want to get this up there so yes we only lost two of the four dogs we had we're down to pepper our black pomeranian and we're down to ranger our five-year-old great pyrenees and i'm so glad we didn't lose ranger because it was hard enough on judy as it was and uh you know me being a guy, I thought, well, I need to let her know immediately. So I called her on the phone and told her I had come home and I found both of them that night. I, fa I found Coco and called and let her know. And then while I was talking to her, I found Cinnamon. And, you know, that was stupid of me. Uh, I was tired. I was exhausted. No excuse. I should have waited and gone up there the next day and told her that we'd lost him instead. You know. One of the one of the male nurses came in and asked, "Was I did I abuse her?" And uh, any of the nurses that knew me up there saw me up there knew I didn't. But you know, uh, I, that was a dumb mistake on my part. Uh, being a guy, you, you don't let them know over the phone that they've lost one of their puppies. <clears throat> but anyway, so we lost two dogs on the same day, and uh, they had not come out when the uh, uh, we we had four we had. Two paramedics and four firemen in the house helping get Judy out of the house because the way our house was designed in the bedroom we're in, they couldn't get the gurney all the way down there. So they got her into a wheelchair that I have and uh, then wheeled her out and then, then they were able to do that. So, But uh, she's doing much better uh, and I'm... I'm getting better. It's just I've lost my voice, and there's no need of you guys having to put up with any more of this sound than what you're seeing right now. So uh, thanks for all the prayers, good the well wishes, and everything else. But uh, I'm just not going to do a show tonight. Next week, I should be back. Uh, and uh, I can't even practice with my dummies right now because I ain't got a voice to throw. So anyways, you guys take care. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing you i'll see you guys in the chats throughout the week uh hopefully i'm going to get cleared up we go see the doctor here in another week and i think i'm going to talk to him about my situation too because uh you know my obviously my lungs are a little compromised but uh she does not have covid she did not have covid i don't have covid we haven't been you know exposed to it she just simply it was a with the Oklahoma allergies and stuff. It was just too much for her lungs to handle. It had all hit it. You know, it was just the perfect storm of everything and it shut down her breathing. She had hypoxia or an exasperation of her COPD with hypoxia. So that's what the official diagnosis was. They think she might have had a, uh, a bacterial infection as well.
uh, probably or you probably from allergies and stuff. It just was uh, we didn't get on top of it quick enough. I usually am on top of things, but this hit suddenly. So, anyways, guys, God bless. Take care. Remember, I'm the Grumpy Vlogger. Be kind. Treat each other better than you would treat yourselves. And remember, even old farts like me matter. All right, everybody matters. Take care. Bye bye for now.